Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is just a little bit of continuation of my last video where I talked about, uh, you know, my 10 years on YouTube and I showed the clips. I just kind of wanted to wrap up the whole thing this week before I move on. Uh, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, you know, I did the video where I asked, had everybody ask questions for me to ask my gastroenterologist and, and I had the interview set with him the day before. I shared this on Instagram, but I hadn't shared it here yet. The day before, I had a blood vessel burst in my eye. And I mean, it just wasn't like a vein or anything. The whole a lot of my eye was not white. It was deep crimson. I looked like a Halloween monster thing it was the most frightening thing so i woke up that way and so i ran down to the eye doctor and she said no i can see behind it you know she did several tests i can see behind it your blood pressure is good you have it's a it's a blood vessel that's burst and it's a bad one i mean uh it wasn't blood wasn't coming out but it looked like my eye was bleeding so I called the, I thought, I can't be on camera like this. So I called the doctor and I said, I am so sorry. I'm going to have to reschedule. This freak thing happened. So I know some of you are, the reason I'm explaining it, I know some of you are looking for that video. It has not happened yet. I called. I said, I'm so sorry for, you know, having to postpone it. Please call me back to reschedule it sometime this summer. She hasn't yet. So I will let you know. I've printed out all those questions. So it's on hold for a while, but I have not forgotten about it. So... I know that you all, some of you all, have been wondering and asked, have asked me about it, so I'll keep you posted periodically, but hopefully I'll be able to do it soon, but it was, it was crazy. Okay, so my channel and the video that I did, oh my goodness, I cannot tell you, for number one, I'm about halfway through the comments, and I have enjoyed them thoroughly. Um, I had asked people on Instagram account and on my TikTok account to come over and watch it and to say hi to me, and they have. It's just been so fun to read all that. People have shared memories. I've shared with them. So many of you, like I said, I am so close to, and I just, it's just been incredible. It's hard to explain how incredible this has been. So I'm sitting on my back porch, and I'm answering all of these comments gosh I can't begin to tell you how much it means to me Oliver's been helping me and you can hear the birds oh I hope you can see through let me go outside so I'm sitting here on my porch and Doug's opened up the water fountain we do it every year he does it every year and it's a continuation of things looking at that video and my grandchildren being so little and them being so much older now and a few things have changed and will continue to change but my water fountain doesn't these trees don't the bushes don't and that's kind of a comfort to me and you know I felt energized about my channel looking at it I had gotten into a bit of a slump um, you know I felt like oh I wasn't growing anymore I used to grow kind of regularly I wasn't growing anymore and I was discouraged you know with myself but I feel energized watching my channel and the videos I used to post, it, it, it's energized me to branch out and post different things again and to um, post more often. And for me to realize it doesn't have to be perfect, I am so hard on myself. Uh, and it's hard for me to look back at my videos and I really haven't done it. But I did. I really kind of had to because I wanted to do a sort of an assortment. So it was really good for me to look back because I thought, well, I've got something on my shirt there. I put it up anyway. Well, I've got, you know, kind of my mascara smeared. I put it up anyway. And people watched it and they commented and I thought, I don't have to do it perfectly, do I? And that has really taken a lot of pressure off myself. 
And I tell you something else, reading your comments, going through them, that has made me feel inspired too. So I appreciate that. Um, you know, kind of energizing me. Just, I'm getting some feedback that is energizing me and that's very helpful and I appreciate that. You know, Doug and I, when we were younger and the kids were younger and stuff like that, we, we said someday what we would like to do is to get like a motorhome or rent a motorhome and take time and travel the country. And then I was thinking if we were ever able to do that, I would love to be able to travel to places that I know uh, people live in that, you know, I have been talking to and, you know, go out to coffee with them, uh, take them out to coffee and just kind of meet them in person and chit chat. I just think that would be so fun. It would be like a YouTube journey across the country. And speaking of Doug, I want to tell you all how much I appreciate everyone being nice to him. I really do. Uh, you know, I do this by choice. Doug doesn't particularly, my kids just refuse and they refuse to let their kids on here. But Doug does it because he cares about me and he knows this is important to me. And he knows I want to, you know, share him, that I want to show him off, that I'm proud of him and I am real proud of him. And y'all are just always so nice to him. Y'all say, he's so funny in the comments. Oh, he's so funny. I love Doug. Let's see more of Doug. Let's see more of Oliver. Well, these are, you know, these are people I love. So, um, you know, I feel real protective of Doug. You know, I don't want anybody, it would just hurt me so bad if anybody said anything mean about him. So, nobody has. And I am so grateful for that uh, because he... He puts himself out to get on here, and he's a real funny person, naturally, and he's real outgoing and everything. So my videos have just been blessed tenfold uh, by the ones that have him on there. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate that. It's your response that has done it because I will read him the comments, Doug, they love you. Really? Yes, they love you. These women love you, Doug. <laughs> I love you and that just makes him feel good you know I told him last night after uh, I was answering the comments I said everybody says we want to see more Doug he said do they really I said they do they really like you so you know people like to hear that so thank you for your feedback on my husband because I just think he's real special so thank you for thinking he's special too I thought I would talk about several people that got me going on the channel I guess the two there's three and that's um Tammy, you know, she was Uppy's Beads, and now she's uh, Tammy's Ta Timeless Beauty. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa D1, of course. I think she's inspired so many of us, and so and Tammy has too. Both of them have. Uh, and they both gave me shout outs on their channels, and that really helped me in the beginning, and that really helped me to, you know, get kind of get a few subscribers going and get, gave me some encouragement. So I, I appreciate them doing that. And Natalie, and Natalie, I can't remember what your channel name was. I looked up Natalie, it's Natalie 075. But uh, Natalie, yours was the first videos that I ever watched and you mentioned Tammy. So that's how I got started with Tammy. And then Probably Tammy mentioned Lisa, so that's how I started watching Lisa. So it kind of snowballed and, you know, I started watching more and more people until, you know, I wanted to do it myself. So, uh, but those three women uh, were kind of the start of it for me. The best things about the channel are, uh, of course, meeting everyone. I can't even begin to t count the number of people that I am close friends with. I said I said it on the last video, but it is absolutely true. I mean, people that I've told secrets to, and they've told secrets to me, and we just are crazy about each other. Some of them I haven't met in person, but some of them I have. And they were all just as lovely in person as they were behind the screen. So yes, you can start a really good relationship that way. The Christmas videos made me cry, especially the one in 2013, because uh, you know, Doug's mother was there. She's since passed on. My grandson was a newborn because he was born in November of that year. So that was the first Christmas I was on YouTube. And he, uh, you know, he's um, he'll be 10 in November now. 
Uh, that year, I went to my 40th class reunion. I was 58 when I started. This year, I'll be going to my 50th class reunion. There have been a few negative things, not that many. People have said mean things to me. Uh, and you know what? I lived. <laughs> I lived through it. And, um, you know, I think once they realized uh, they probably weren't going to get a reaction out of me, they kind of left, left me alone then. Sometimes people, well, people still do. Uh, you know, they'll say things to me on TikTok. Oh, you look this or you look that. And I'll say, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't like that. And, you know, then, then they kind of move on. They let you go. Yeah, you're going to get negative comments, but, you know, it just, that's just part of it, part of the beast, I think. But it's one reason why I don't want to subject my family to that, except for Doug. And he does it with his eyes wide open, but he doesn't read any comments. He doesn't watch my channel. So if anybody were to say anything, uh, I would, before I would block, I would delete and block a person for saying something bad about Doug way before I would delete and block anybody say anything about me. So, but another thing that watching the, you know, those older videos and stuff is, especially at Christmas, the record I have of the videos because I think a lot of times, here's what we do, because we don't really take home movies per se like we used to and store them in a drawer or we don't take pictures and put them in a picture album as much anymore. I guess you do some, but I tend not to. So what this has done is given me a living, moving, uh, especially like the Christmas ones, a living, move, moving glimpse of my life. And I think that's why I want to do, try to start doing more vlogs too. I can get out in the world and in my town and kind of experience more things for my memories too, as well as just sharing things with you. I think I live in a charming town and a charming area, so, you know, I'm proud. I like to share that. that feel we, better have, over? we have an alley near our house, and I love an alley, don't you? Love an alley. <laughs> I think it's cozy. I think it's cozy to have an alley. You can't go over there, Oliver. Come on. That's all right. It's our family. <laughs> okay. But yeah. It's, I think it's, I think an alley's, it's neat. The homes here are so pretty. Boy, they've got some good gardening going on here, don't they, Doug? He has been working hard. Doug, we need to do this. It's so cute. There's a little trellis type thing. And that, uh, what is that, a weeping willow? Yeah, it is. It's so, I like weeping willows. They look sad because they're weeping. <laughs> Get it? Tears of joy. They are. Is that magnolia? Yeah. You like that grass. Mm-hmm. We really have some old trees here, don't we? Uh-huh, it's like the vines are killing them. Kudzu? No. Look, that tree's about dead because of the vines. There's a lot of big trees that are dying with vines. This one's, look. She's had a few die just From vines? suffocated by vines. Really? Well, the kudzu, you know, it kill, completely well, kills well, vines. I love this house. I'll show you the front. It's down to the bare bones. There's leftover remnants of a sidewalk. But look how close to the street it is. You can tell it's an old house. It reminds me of the houses in Williamsburg, you know. But uh, it's it's stripped down inside that we're going to tear it down. A friend of mine bought it and did what she could, stripped it down to keep it structurally sound. But yeah, I wish somebody would buy it and love it. I love this house. I've got a picture of it from the 1800s. And this house from the 1800s, the blue one.
This journey would have been a lot lonelier over these past 10 years about my videos with Kristen, Kristen321. People ask me about it a lot. Yes, we're still friends. We are meeting next week actually to do some shopping and go to the mall and have lunch together. Uh, but she does a lot on Instagram now and she does some shorts here on YouTube too. And she may return to her channel. It's kind of, you know, she feels like it, she will. If she doesn't, she won't. And that's the beauty of doing something like this. They're there waiting for you to just to pick it back up again anytime you want to. So that's what I mean with about them. My videos just kind of been all up through the years. I can go through the years and see how things have stayed the same or things have changed. Um, so it's been a wonderful experience and a hundred percent it has been you all. Well, and the other YouTubers that I know and love too. I'm telling you, this is a wonderful, mature community that we have going. It's an asset. It really is. It's an asset to me. Uh, boy, I have learned so much about everything uh, listening to every woman, you know, that that is in this mature com community. Um, and I do watch younger people too, but there's the mature community. They know what I'm going through. You know, their problems may be a little bit different from me, but we're all going through some. So all of this to say, it's just really been a wonderful experience. I'm excited to go forward and getting my energy back and getting my drive back again uh, and me realizing I'm okay the way I am and, um, you know, I don't have to be so hard on myself and my videos don't have to be perfect. That's a great gift to me to be able to give to myself, believe me. So thank you again for everything i've got uh, we've got recital it's the end of the year uh schools are out now here in where in our town the schools are out a granddaughter had a recital last week a granddaughter has a recital tonight two granddaughters have a recital tomorrow and i think we're, we're done then <laughs> so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it so much i'll what I'm going to do is I have not going to quit uh, answering the comments in the last video. I'm getting right back to it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this and, you know, we'll get back to beauty stuff and everything next week and maybe get out and do a little vlogging, a little walking around. Uh, I appreciate it and take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.